So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple jet using Autodesk Inventor. Not too complicated, but more on the overall shape of a plane without the finer details. Here's the surround view. This video will most likely be over the hour long just to give you all a heads up. Also, I've been having a little issues with recording using dual GPU, so hopefully it won't be too much of an issue for y'all. And also, I'm, I'm trying to upload this video in 4K for details. So, spin up the sections. Let's go ahead change out to turn to a 3D model. Okay. So, let's exit. Sometimes we might have to do a touch up to a sketch after we did it before we go into the full 3D model, but let's see. So we're gonna go to the extrude in the create box drop down. Make it a little slow. Now, come on, come on. So it giving us our section instead of as a whole. So we're gonna do the body first. So I'm gonna do that in a uh, 12 feet. So give an even square. 12. All right, now cl click on that excursion, excursion, extrusion. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, <laughs> but make it visible. Right click on it and make it visible. Now do this again right now. No, 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 you fucking me. So actually I'm gonna have to go back. Go to the description and go to edit. Edit feature. So you're gonna have to put the sketch in the middle. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So from right like there, put in this. So that's how you get into the middle, right there. It's like pretty much splitting, going both ways, exclusion going both ways. So now it's in the middle. No, no, so so now we do the second section. Well, it's about like five sections. Twelve left. Okay. Now this side. Same thing, both ways. So it's my. So the drop down right here. Symmetric. Now do that. So from what? Uh, 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 I should go back. Undo. Just see, shall I make it smaller? That's the downside of uh, only doing it off the top. I'm trying to see shot I make this thinner. Back. Now let's go ahead. Let's see. Go forward with that. So I should do that. Now I'm going to show you how to thin it out. See, modify. Fill it. Chamfer. So now. So you can go right there, go down to the drop box, two distances, click on that again. We don't necessarily have to go stop at this little corner right here, we can go forward, but I'm going to just stop at the corner. So I'm 
make a little slight. Actually, let's, let's go all the way up there. So, so it'll be more spare. So I'm doing like this. It's really just design, so there's no perfect way in doing this. Just however you feel like, how it high look like. Okay, right there. Show you a top view of it. Actually, let's make sure that door is at least eight feet wide. Yep, that's not enough. Only four feet on one side. Let's get that down to ten feet at least. So undo, undo. Well, you could leave it at that dimension, but I'm going ahead and make it to eight feet. I'm trying to get like make it be able to a car could fit in there. Modify chamfer. I could have just edited that chamfer, but it's too late. So this showing how much is going in. Instead of doing that, you're going to do about C 12. From 12 feet to 10 feet. So we're going to have to take off 12 inches on both sides. Do it again. You can also mirror it, but that's a little bit slightly advanced for y'all. So let me just do this. I used to often do planes, but I'm done it weighing around, honestly. Now from right here, you're gonna make another section. So and this is the slightly trickly but not really. So and right now at this point we use it 10 feet wide, so that's why the other one gonna be 10 feet wide. So again, make it symmetrical, so come out on, on both sides instead of one, instead of 12 feet, 10 feet. Yeah, this video might be an hour long. Let's give it a heads up. And join. That's it. And now, you know, I was talking about screwing off. So you can, like, chamfer points, but that's a little bit more complicated. It's more easy to just chamfer, or like, a whole side. So, chamfer, modify, chamfer. Now, right here, when we chamfer it, it's going to be about all the way in. Pretty much the tip is going to be this whole little section. It's just going to be a feet by. Because it's, it's the end point of the plane. So it got to be pretty flush. So let's see, 60 for 5 feet, it's going to take that down to 48 inches. No, I think 6 inches on both sides should be okay. Turn it to 10. No, uh, 52, I think it's 52. So right now, to continue to the other side, just press apply. So I'm still in chamfer type of feature. I'm gonna go to the other side. So right there, you might have to switch the section. No, but I don't, so don't worry about that. So it's pretty much the tail. It's coming along okay so far. 
here late at night. Okay, get this done as quickly as possible. So now on the front side. So the hardest part up here is not going to be right here. This is going to be this part. I ain't did this in a while. I'm going to have to remember how to do it, but it should be pretty simple. I got to show you how to do it. So again, same way like we did the other sections. It's good. Make sure it's on both sides. So open right here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So let's go ahead and chamfer that mid section. I already know it's pretty much 12, so it's going to do that 12. So let's go to the bottom side of that look. I'm not really like that tail, but it doesn't need to be perfect, so. Okay. If this were my designs, my other personal hobbies, I would have did better than that tail, but even it's not done yet, so it would be a lot better. So, again, do the other side for the front piece. Let's apply it. And right now, we're going to chamfer a little bit on the, this part section we already made, but. Should just take the fly, but So, create another section. At this, I might do how to make a car, but we'll see. We're not tonight, but so I know. Do about seven feet. Okay, and that's seven feet. So, seven feet in inches is about eighty-four. So I need to go to eighty-six or something. Nope, eighty-eight. Yeah, that should be okay. Yeah. 
So from right here, we need to split that wind shear so we know it's a wind shear. That'd be harder to edit in the background. So let's go ahead and split the surface. So, split the wind shear, that's what it is right there. So, let's go ahead and chamfer again. We're gonna have to do another split of the face. Yeah, when you call that's called face splitting, like the face of the object. So we're gonna be using that line again to split again to make a range shear of this. It's just pretty much just created a whole new face when you chamfer it off. Make a new one. So about this, I think it's down to about six feet. Let's see. Nope. About five feet sixty. Nope. About fifty-six. Nope. <laughs> Pretty much just guessing now. Fifty-two. Yep. So I'm gonna chamfer it just a little bit, not too much. I, I want to get to like a square, so let's go to the front. Hop into the chamfer look feature. Yeah, that's a good plan. 
So now you just want to see the whole body. It's only good. It's too obvious to the hostages to the capture side. We're going to confuse the cops. So I think I got an idea how to do this. I'm going to make a revolve. Edit this sketch so you can go back to edit it. I'm going to make a line right through the middle. So, the revolve, I think this should work pretty easy. How you gonna make the point? Revolve it. So now from here you should. Uh, we well, always recommend saving it. Got so many times I didn't save it and lost the whole thing. So I don't feel like we be doing it. So save. So that gun is going to get back to it. So I got another idea. Make to that other clinic no situation. A sketch. Also, I mean, you, this, this used to be a standard thing, but now you gotta force it to happen. So project geometry right there. Because now it doesn't put the lines when you start a sketch. Project geometry. Right there. Okay. So finish sketch. It's skewed. So, try that in. So that's good, like right that. So, yeah, make that sketch visible. So, I'm going to do another side, so I won't have to do it again. So after I'm done with all this, I'm gonna go ahead and do a key shot to make it look more visual or pleasing. I might do a tutorial on the key shot one, but I'm not sure. Let's see. I got enough time, but not too tired. So it's pretty much the whole body. Now let's go put some curves in it. <laughs> Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and make that windshield again. Split. You might have to do it again as I make the curve too as well. Let's see. do it just in case. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this bottom before we do the top. The bottom is always easy. So go to modify. Instead of chamfer, you can use the fillet. It's pretty much the round version of the chamfer. So fold it in a little bit. I think I came across one of the issues. Oh, damn it. 
So we need to give you that, do, do something like that. So you can get the whole side, man. Do like that. So, made a sketch, made a to his tail, six inch thick on top of this surface right here. So I'm going to head curve this section out a little bit. So I was going to head go to fill it. Same way we did the bottom. Just again. So I'm going to see how this looks. Usually I use a gold of some color that stand out. So I'm going to go to favorite and just make that easier. No, 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 Ingrid, there's no need to call the police, okay, because the only crime 
It's being committed today. It's a crime of ugliness. Sadly, you can't press charges for that. You know what? I'm just going to have to come back next time with a model with a perfect body. You've been a disappointment. Shame on you. So it's come out pretty well. Let's see if this thing's still recording. Just trying to talk about a little bit. What about the angel? Not so good. She still has problems. You have to take care of this right away. the body part. Let's go ahead and put some depth into this wing. Go back to shrimp for it. I knew it was going to be exactly like that, but... because I'm getting tired. About four inches. So, let me make a... So, we're making 3D objects now. It's talking about mirroring. I'm about to make like a little square or some little object with a face on it. So, like this. So sometimes I know it's worse, so I could leave it there. sketch off for now.
You can do a test because you're a winner. You haven't peaked. You haven't even begun to peak, but you're going to peak today. Oh, you're going to peak all over everybody. Make it work, Dennis. This guy's going to find a lot of good shot, man. You don't tell me you're way up there. There she is. Gee, what are you doing? I guess I did. That's the pivot. So you copy the object, go to pattern, mirror.
So the banner item, you're gonna have to make a line. This would be your banner line. I'm gonna just do a so project geometry. Go back to modify and park. Right, let me try this out. Was that your park? Yeah, Just the bin along here. Solid. Nigga. You have to face facts, you have no 
8 degrees. Oh, really? Oh, is that so? Why don't you take a gander at this? No, Wolfie, I don't want to go. It's too hot outside. Right? You know what the hell is that? What's it, Chris? What? That's terrible. Oh, you know what? You know what? You're a judge. That's it. He's going to be a judge. And you know why? Because sitting in judgment of other people is the greatest way to make yourself feel better. Problem solved. There you go. Change that line, please. Not looking exactly. So much had gone aside. Yes. 
Does that mean the hot pocket is on the purpose? Give it that bend down look. So, that's eight degrees to one degrees. Split the windows, get that part. We're gonna hit Shaft Brothers. Tell me to give it some little bit of detail. No, I said I'm gonna put too much detail, but I think that's necessary detail. Modify Shaft So that's it. Hopefully I was able to be helpful to you. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment on your thoughts. And if you want me to make a specific object. Thanks.